Let's get our financial lives in order right now. You ready? I'm ready. Let's okay. do it. <laughs> this is Bruce Porter. He joins us now for this week's Dollars and Cents segment. Good to see you. As Good always. to see you. All right, we got a question for today. You ready? I'm ready for it. Okay, here it is. I have an IRA and a 401k plan, and I am over 70 and one half. Can a distribution from my 401k plan satisfy all RMDs that I am obliged to take for the year? Obligated to take these. Okay, RMD stands for what? Distribution. Required minimum distribution. Okay. All right, so we have qualified money. Mm -hmm. And we're older than 70 and a half, so we have to take what they call the RMD. Mm -hmm. Now, this time of year, we get a lot of questions about that because we're approaching the end of the year. You have to take your RMD out every year. If you don't, there's a 50% tax penalty on the amount you should have taken out. So, I've got, it's called aggregation, all okay. right? So, I've got a screenshot that we can go to that gives us a very basic example. Mm -hmm. So, let's say that we have a 401k. Okay. And let's say we have a couple of 403bs from previous jobs. Mm -hmm. And we've got three different IRA accounts that we've accumulated over the years. And a 403B, is that? Uh... Well, that's a qualified retirement plan through like a hospital or a school or okay. something like that. So just let's just clarify. say okay. that this guy had a variety of jobs over sure. his career and Which this happens. is what he's got. Mm -hmm. Now, if, for example, the RMD, the required mm -hmm. minimum is $10,000, his question is, can I pull it all out of one of my accounts and satisfy them all? Well, the answer is no, you can't. For example, your 401k has to be treated separately. If you have more than one 401k, each 401k has to be treated separately. So it kind of complicates mm -hmm. things. If you have a 403b mm -hmm. account and another one, you can aggregate those into one and take one distribution. Mm -hmm. If you have three different individual IRA accounts, you can aggregate those into one distribution and take care of that. But I caution you, it's, it, you need to know how to calculate it in order to get it correct. If you miss it by a dollar, you got a 50% tax penalty. So it's very important that's to make sure that it's done correctly. So that's why I would recommend call somebody that can help you figure that out and then it'll make your life a lot better. So. Wow, some of us are getting much closer to retirement than others. Just quickly, talk about where does this whole 50% penalty, if you don't take your money out, what is that about other than a way to raise some tax money? Well, uh, qualified plans have a very unique characteristic. Uh -huh. All of them do. They're deferred. Sure. That means you have no taxes due until you take until money you out. Until you take it out. Now the government's basically saying, you're 70 and a half. Mm -hmm. You're approaching mortality. So at that age, 70 and a half, and it's the April following your 70 and a half birthday, mm -hmm. We want you to start taking money out of your qualified funds so that we can get our taxes if there's any tax due. Just because they're subject to taxation doesn't mean you'll owe taxes. It depends on your individual circumstance. Sure. But that's why we have to abide by these rules. So when you're 70 and a half, your qualified money, you have to take part of it can out. Can you set it and to it, automatically come out somehow? You can. I, I set my accounts up I that assume. I manage. Sure. Uh -huh. We set them up to where they're automatic every year. Some people take a monthly, some quarterly, mm -hmm. some once a year. This time of year, people will start taking their RMDs out in order to pay their taxes and insurance and things like that for the year, and, and that's a good use for that. Now, RMDs, we've covered in another show, they go up as you get older. So as you get older, they force you to take more out because you're approaching that mortality sure. uh, date. Okay, so do you advocate that people take this RMD a little at a time? Because you hear of some people who just take it all when they retire. Well, they Correct? can. I mean, it really depends on your circumstance. Okay. Some folks like it as mm -hmm. a supplemental income. Yeah. And they don't want to take too much out because they want the longevity of their IRA. So you figure if your RMD is 4%, mm -hmm. if you're averaging 4% growth, you're going to extend the life of your money. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's one thing that we look at real close sure. is making sure that we keep pace with the distribution so that we create longevity. 
a lot of folks are worried about outliving their money. Sure. And with mortality mm -hmm. has just been raised by two years. Now it's it's a legitimate concern is if my needs go up, mm -hmm. am I going to run out of money before I die? And that's a big concern people have, and we try to address that right up front and develop a game plan. A plan is so good to have, and time is on your side. If you start this young, good for you. Start putting your money back right. and think about it, and you will not, hopefully, have to worry when time gets there. Now, if you have several IRAs from different jobs, you can roll those over, or what is it called? There's another word for that. Well, there's either transfer, transfer. options or okay. rollover options, mm -hmm. but if you have leftover 401k, uh, you know, I I like to see my clients roll that into an individual retirement roll account. Roll that into an IRA because you have more control over what you do with it. Uh, same way with 403b mm -hmm. left over from a previous job. It's a lot easier to manage if you get control of it yourself, okay. and then it allows you to to Good have advice. some more control, All which right. is a big deal as we get older.